the Newfoundland rogues are flying high these days with five straight wins. While the team battles for a playoff spot, they may be getting a little help from above. During every home game in St. John's, you'll see one of their biggest fans on the sidelines. And while she loves to cheer on the team, it's her prayers they're after. Sister Betty is the chaplain of the Newfoundland rogues. Here and now's Jeremy Eaton has more on this basketball loving sister of mercy. She's not exactly what you'd call a rogue, but the professional basketball team of the same name has completely embraced the Catholic nun. She's our like rock. She's carries, she carries us. She gives every we'll be down. She's there, always in the locker room, up, uplifting, wonderful. Betty Morrissey has been a sister of mercy for over 60 years. Her basketball experience goes back decades before any of these players were even born. 50 years ago, while working as a teacher, Sister Betty started her side hustle in basketball. I would go after school to supervise the high school boys. And I went around to different tournaments around Newfoundland. And, that's, and from here on, here I am. It might seem like an odd pairing, the prayers and the three-point shot. But many professional sports teams have a chaplain. It's only now it's really dawning on me what I'm doing. It's important to the, to the people on the team. It's important to the young men. I go in the dressing room, I say a prayer before, and I say a prayer after. And uh, when I go in at both times, it's very quiet. And you know their souls are being listened. They're listening. Her role on the team wasn't exactly a calling from God, but from Rogue's owner, Tony Kenny. He cut me at a very vulnerable moment and asked me would I be ro a chaplain to the Rogues. And I said yes. However, I like the word chaplain because then you're, you're spreading who you are to others. Prior to each game, Sister Betty takes her act into the locker room and these massive men give her their full attention. I feel when I go in or when I'm with them, the quietness tells me that they are listening and they are taking in every word that I say. When the final buzzer sounds and heave away plays, the team gathers around the little nun to say a post-game prayer. I guess all the years that I've, I've been trained and pray and the spirituality just comes out and you feel at home. I feel at home with them. Many of these players are a long way from home, away from family and friends, like Ja'Cory Archie from Florida. But the caring sister easily steps in when needed. I miss my grandmother, so she's, she's like the next step there. But she's been wonderful, man. Always been there for me, always been there for the teammates. She's been good, man. I just, I'm just thankful for her. I prepared the prayers in the sense that I wanted them to listen and to be cared for. While you'll find Sister Betty seated here for every home game, her colleagues feel she's found herself at home as the team's chaplain. Well, their reaction is, I'm not surprised. I'm sure you're enjoying it, and I have support, 100% support. Jeremy Eaton, CBC News, St. John's.